Hey guys, so I've had a few questions about how I painted these little nesting tables. I used a puddle pour technique and then swirled them around for the design. So my tables started out looking like this. Just a brown top, three black legs. I began by unscrewing the legs from the top and giving them two coats of primer. Then two coats of a Modern Masters metallic gold and sealing them with a Minwax polycrylic. Next, I prepared the tabletops. After sanding, I sprayed each one with two coats of shellac to prevent any bleed through. I then painted two coats of primer, sanding between each coat with a 220 grit sandpaper. Then I painted with a bare ultra premium black paint in a satin finish and let that dry. So after the black paint dried, I actually did two coats. I sanded again lightly just to remove any rough spots. And then I mixed up my paints and poured on my top layer using the same black paint mixed with three parts of the bare faux glaze. So I used the same ratio for each paint color, three to one. Three parts glaze to one part paint. And here I'm just rubbing on the it's always easier when the surface is wet when you start out. And then I start pouring the paint in puddles. Starting with the black. Now this gold is the same gold I used on the legs. It's a Modern Masters. Actually the color is warm silver. But it definitely has a gold look to it. This white is also a bare ultra premium paint and it's in pure white. I think this is the only time I poured black over white. I just didn't want it to mix and have a lot of gray. So you just keep alternating. I wasn't sure how much paint I needed, but the tabletop wasn't large. I think it's 15 inches in diameter. So this turned out to be an appropriate amount of paint, I guess. And you can notice that I've put the legs back on, or maybe you didn't notice, but the legs are screwed back on and I have a garbage bag around them, kind of taped underneath. I thought this would be easier to kind of move the table around. Actually, it was easier because one of the other tables I did without the legs, and that was kind of just a little bit more difficult and plus your fingers get all over the tabletop. I actually almost dropped it a couple of times so having the legs on there was definitely a plus. So I sped the video up just a tad paint may have been a little thick, but I just didn't want it to slide all off the table. So there's really no right or wrong way. So 
like this. You just get the design that you like. Now here I'm kind of touching up the edges. You don't want to smear your finger around it. Um, you just kind of want to dab the drips away. Because you want, you want to keep the same design coming along down the side of the table. So here I'm adding more white. I don't think I particularly like just that dark or just that black spot in the middle. So I added a little bit more color. So here, in order to blend the paint a little, the paint that I just poured on, I'm, I'm using a straw. I'm just lightly blowing and kind of manipulating the paint around with the straw. All this straw blowing will definitely make you dizzy, or at least it does me. I wouldn't recommend doing it a whole lot. Still trying to swirl that paint in the middle to get like a center center point. getting a bit heavy and I did have to, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I did have to touch up the legs just a bit where the garbage bag slipped down and I touched it. Touching up the edges again, thinking I'm finished at this point. Kind of a perfectionist, and I just really 
don't know when to stop sometimes. I think I'm good here. I really like the way they all turned out. seeing this on Facebook, if you'll please share it. Thanks, guys.